Hello. I thought I'd just do a little introductory chat about um, a mystery quilt program that's coming up. Um, we're doing a What's in the Box mystery quilt this year. We did do one last year and it was very successful. We had a huge amount of fun doing it and uh, people were are always asking, well, what was in the box? Well, there's only really one way to find out what was in that box. However, I can show you the quilt that we made, this quilt up behind me here. This is the quilt that came out of What's in the Box mystery quilt. Um, there was a couple of variations and it might have been different colours and things like that but basically that was the design and the only way to be able to make that quilt was to be able to do what's in the box mystery quilt. So that was for 2015, we're doing another one for 2016 and because that was so much fun and so amazing, this year I'm calling it the amazing what's in the box mystery quilt 2016. So uh, be prepared to be amazed, we are going to have a lot of fun again. It's going to work so that um, during May you'll be able to purchase registration on the website on gourmetquilter.com for the amazing What's in the Box Mystery Quilt 2016. You'll find a tab on the website there to go into for some more information and things. And we're going to be able to, you can register, there's different country regions for registration and that's because we're actually going to be mailing out a box and the postage amounts are different. So that's all included in your registration. We're not charging you more because you live further away because we think that we should. It's just that the postage costs a little bit more to go to different areas. So what happens is during May you can purchase registration and then during June the mail out will happen and a box will be mailed, a box something like this. If you purchase the basic registration it will be a box something like this. There will be some opportunities to purchase fabrics if you choose to, absolutely no obligation to do so. Of course then it will come in a bigger box. So the fabric purchase includes the registration. You don't have to register twice to get the box and the fabric. It's all one price, as I said, different regions with different postal amounts included in those prices. So, and then in, in July, we're going to be making the quilt. So it's going to be a downloadable pattern. So twice a week, there's going to be eight parts. Twice a week, there'll be a video and a downloadable pattern will come out to you, to the email address that you've registered with. And you can watch the video to see what we're doing and you can make your, your parts. There's going to be some interaction, so it'd be great if you can keep up with, with what we're doing. Um, I know that people work at different paces, that's fine. But as I said, some of the interaction would be really good if you can keep up with some of that. But more about that a little bit later. So I can, um, just, to, just to recap, it's going to be purchasing the registration during May, mail out during June and collecting your fabrics and things. If you haven't purchased fabrics, that would be the time to be doing that. That information will come to you then. And then in July, we're going to make the quilt. So by the end of July, there's every chance you'll have made the quilt top. And yes, it is a quilt. And I can tell you that there's going to be some applique in there as well, just so that you know. So these are the fabrics that I have chosen to use this year. These are delicious, very, very, very delicious, I have to say, Hoffman Bali um, fabrics um, in this wonderful rainbow of colours. I've actually got 13 colours there plus a background, so a total of 14 fabrics. Um, and I've done it so that you could actually have like the rainbow effect. It would be really good if the colours will blend through um, with whatever it is that you choose to use. And so the next logical one after purple would be to be go back to blue and, and so that you could make this whole circle of colours. Um, that's how it would look um, really good, if, but it could be different colours, doesn't have to be those ones. And the other thing is that to do it with a background, I'm going to either suggest a lighter background or a darker one. So this is going to be my darker one. All your colours should contrast and show against your main background. And this would be a lighter option um, that I would suggest. But as I said, you can choose your own fabrics. There's no obligation whatsoever to use the ones that I am using. Um, I'm also going to be using some very delicious Aurifil threads. They have such a wonderful range of colours, and I find that they work really well um, for, this, for this sort of work. Well, any sort of work that you're sewing with, really. Um, so I've shown you some fabrics. I've talked about how it's all going to work. I've told you that there's going to be a box, and I have to say that box is looking amazing absolutely amazing but I can't show you what's in there because how would that be a mystery so we're going to sign up in May we're going to mail out in June we're going to make it in July there'll be a video supporting each um, pattern part there'll be a, some interaction most of all it's going to be a lot of fun there will be some sewing involved in this fun and as I mentioned a little bit of applique as well 
There's also going to be a Facebook group, which will be a, a contained one, like a secret one, so that people can um, share what they're doing with others who are making the quilt. And we are going to ask you not to talk about your mystery and not to post um, pictures and things on the internet, or on your personal sites or anything during the time of the mystery, because we're hoping to keep it as a mystery. So, as I said, the amazing What's in the Box Mystery Quilt 2016 is coming your way pretty soon. So registration in May, mail out in June, and making it in July using wonderful fabrics, a lot of imagination, a lot of fun, and a wonderful little mystery box that will help you. You will need some of the contents for the, from the box to be able to make the quilt. So you kind of need to have the whole thing. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. So come and join us with the mystery for 2016 on gourmetquilter.com. Thank you.